Hey guys, it's me Tolha. So this is part 2 of modeling this apartment building in Revit. In this video, I will demonstrate how to create a stylish angled slats pergola in Revit. Before we get started, if you find this video helpful, please consider supporting my work on Patreon. Your support helps me create new videos every week. Now let's get started. Let's create the pergola here. First, uh, we want to add the columns. So let's select column from here architectural column and then i am going to duplicate this six inch by six inch click ok and we need to put the dimensions here six inches and then here width also six inches click ok and let's add a column here and then use align and just align uh, this uh, column uh, to the edge of this wall here let's select this one mirror we'll mirror it from the middle here like so then hold control key and select both of these we'll just mirror then we can just move them to the edge of this floor So that's how it looks like now let's create the frame uh, for this pergola to create the frame i'm going to create an in place component so let's click this drop down select model in place and then i'm going to select generic models from here click ok click ok again and let's use sweep go to the top view or the level 5 and then sketch path and we'll create a rectangle here like so let's go to 3d okay it's actually created here but uh, don't worry we can just uh, move this up uh, once we uh, create the sweep so first let's click finish model and then edit profile and let's go to right view here and i'm going to create a profile And then we can just move this profile let's move it here and click finish finish again there we go we got this frame let's move this up so for that we can just go back to right view again and i'm going to use move and just move it to the top of this column here like so let's add a material parameter to this just select this frame and then click this little button to associate the family parameter click here new parameter i'm going to call it frame just click ok and finish model and you can find this material uh, parameter here anyway here i just noticed we need to uh, just uh, flip this wall if I hit space it should uh, place perfectly here let's check on this side the rest of the walls are perfectly placed on this floor now here we want to create different angled uh, slats for this pergola so the simplest way to achieve that is by using glass roof so first let's go to roof as you can see we have this frame showing up here let's go to architecture select roof and then we'll use this sloped glazing from this drop down and first i'm going to create a rectangle inside of this frame and then we want to divide this uh, into four rows and four columns and then we can create dimensions to equally divide these segments just click this little eq button and if you notice the these lines also moved so we can uh, simply align them again al select this frame and then this line here also just make sure perfect now we can delete this dimension 
and I'm going to create three lines here again let's create dimensions again di and we want to create the dimensions here and then click this EQ button if it doesn't match we can use align let's make sure here as well now I'm going to delete this dimension and you stream TR and just stream these lines here and just click unjoin elements here also click unjoin elements and then delete these lines we can simply copy this one now to remove the slope we just need to select all of this and and just uncheck this defined slope let's click finish and there we go we got uh, this glass roof here let's select that and first we want to give a 4 inch base offset here perfect now we can simply add mullions to this glass let's select this click edit type duplicate I'm going to call it pergola 01 just for the reference just click OK let's select fixed distance in the grade 2 and the distance should be 6 inches and let's scroll down a little bit and we want to add interior mullion here so I want to choose this one one and a half inch by two and a half inch mullion click OK there we go we got this kind of design here okay I forgot to remove the glass so let's click edit type again and let's remove and just select empty system panel click apply okay there we go now I want to uh, rotate these mullions so for that we need to select this curtain wall and we get this little button here click on it and then we just want to change the angle here we want to make it 45 there we go now we will add a border here for that also we can uh, use mullion and make sure grid line is selected here then I'm just going to use the same mullion then click here and and add another one here like so let's go to roof you can just simply copy this glass roof select this one just hit tab key then click and then we can copy from here let's create another copy here perfect now I want to change the uh, angle of these slats again let's select that again and click here and we'll just remove the angle let's make it zero click delete elements and here I think we should add uh, mullion again this time we will use grid line segment select the grid line here this one should be the same as the first one and the last one we want to uh, remove the angle again we want to create the horizontal slats here to do that we actually need to uh, create a copy of this one select that edit type duplicate and this one should be paragola 2 and we'll remove grid 2 and just add grid 1 select fixed distance 6 inches spacing and the and select the same mullion here click ok click delete grid line there we go we can just go back to roof again and select all of this ok just make a selection like this and then filter click check none and then select roof we don't need to select the curtain panels and if you copy the roofs it will automatically copy the mullions and the curtain panels as well click OK and then copy from here let's copy them and then and then we want to change these panels so first I will just use match properties select this one and then this just click delete grid lines there we go 
can just tap select this panel and then click here and let's give it an angle 45 degrees click delete elements and if you lose the mullions you can simply select the mullion from here and then uh, select grid line segments and just add these segments one by one now this one we want to create the same as this one so let's click this button and then remove angle there we go again we lost some mullions here so we need to repeat the same select mullion and then segment and let's click hit tab key and add these segments this one should be the same as this so i will use match properties ma and then select this one and then this click delete elements okay actually there is some issues so i think we can just delete this and go to roof and copy this one tab select this panel copy from here to here now we can select all of these and filter check none uh, the just keep roofs checked click ok and then copy from here like so so if i go to 3d there we go we have created this cool looking pergola uh, design in revit so now i will quickly add the railing here so that's how you can create a stylish angled slats pergola in revit that's all for this video if you have missed the previous one where we model this entire building make sure to check that out the link will be in the description so that's it for this video i hope you have learned something new so please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already don't forget to turn on the post notifications and if you found this video helpful please consider supporting my work on patreon your support helps me create new videos every week and yeah i will see you guys in the next video